Hey everybody, sorry about uh, getting ill, fucked up my little uploading a video every three days thing, but um, I was proper sick, I got a fever, and it fucked me over for a day, uh, but I think that kind of got rid of it, so it was sort of just a shortened illness rather than days and days of it, which is cool, but anyway, I thought, yeah, today, day off, good weather, let's get out, go to the local bike spot, yeah, great idea, it's fucking 40 mile an hour wind, so, I thought, you know what, as I'm up here, I'll go around the back, down the back roads, because it shouldn't be too windy down in the valley. <laughs> we'll see, you can see about that. I haven't been down it for a long fucking time. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Did you like that, Jesse? Did you like that? Did you like the horses? She going to say hello to the horses. Oh, um, Jesse has to be off-roading. <laughs> Hello! Hello! Yeah! I want to name you, soon to be you who, and you stuck on me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to scare the crap out of that. I think. Fuck. It's. Sorry. Bad idea. Yeah. Holy shit. Back break. <laughs> Fuck! Come on! <laughs> oh, hang on. Uh, engine power, please. Oh! That horse is! Okay, that wasn't such a good idea. Holy shit! This road has not got any better, I swear! It's still gonna be flooded. Oh, for fuck's sake! It's gone a million times worse. It's the forge, Jesse. Are you ready for this? Whee! What the fuck? Slow ducks crossing. Look, okay, if it's a retarded duck, fair enough, it might need a bit more attention, but I'm sure you're not going to have to pay that much more attention to the point you have to point it out. Look at the algae. Holy fuck, that's slippery. Bridge. <laughs> what in the fuck shits is that? Oh, rambles. Oh, thorns in the back of my leg. Okay, this is getting more confusing. What the fuck? It's like an air filter of some sort. Rhino Pro. The name in carbon filtration. Yeah, I got myself this new exhaust. Thought it looked pretty good. You know, the one that's on there now is quite nice, but I thought, better diameter, you know, get more air flowing. It's a... Oh, fuck. No. Stay. Some kind of fucking air filter. What the hell it's doing there, I don't know. Very fucking random. Anyway. Yeah. I'm a bit unfit. The summer's gonna help me with that though, because I'll get out riding more and I'll be out and about and get my fitness back to where it was. It wasn't great, but it was okay. Um, but four and I say from the crash, four and a half months, sat in a fucking bed or around or sofa, generally, because you can't walk, does make you a little bit unfit. I didn't put any weight on, I actually lost weight during that time. I just became less fit. So, here we go. Yes. Talking about gyms, actually, the night me, Jake, and the rock dude, Marenko, were talking on Skype. It's the most amazing conversations we have sometimes, because it's English, Australian, and American. Oh, my God. Of course, the Australians and the English, we sort of, we get on, as it were, apart from, I get called a pommy git, and I call him a sheep herder, which really pisses him off. <laughs> I would just call Jake an idiot, but then he's American, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> we were talking about gyms, and like going to gyms, and people at gyms, and your experiences from going to gyms. Now, I used to go to the gym. Yeah, believe it or not, a while ago. Um, I was going like five nights a week, doing it properly, the way you should. Have I just taken the wrong turn? 
I'm fucking new. I'm really lost now. No, it's fine, I'll find my way out. Anyway, yeah, in gyms. And the gym I used to go to was a 24-hour type gym. So you could literally go in with a swipe card whenever you want. And I used to go in after work late at night. So I, was, when I started at 11 o'clock at night. I don't know where I'm going. Go. Go, 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 go. Um. I'm fucking lost! <gasps> Mummy! Margaret! Yes, I say, I was used to going to gyms late at night, and it quite often meant that I was on my own, which I really liked. I don't mind doing a workout when there's other people there. It doesn't really bother me, because occasionally I'd get other people come in, and be like, you're right, and just carry on doing your own things. You know, you put headphones in if someone else is there. Um. It did have, it was a fucking awesome gym, because it had, like, the TV, uh, internet, and all sorts of fucking, all the fucking tech, uh, DVD players, so you could literally have three TVs, full sound system, you could just put whatever you wanted on, plug your iPod in, go onto this internet-based music thing, and music off of there, and blah, 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 it was fucking awesome. And, and, I get to do it all on my own. So I can put my own music on, put the fucking aircon right up, I think it's down there. That's the way I should have gone. And you do your workout, and you're like, cool, and you get on with it. But, when you have other people come in, it gets a little bit strange. I mean, with younger people, I don't know, with some younger people, just sort of more acceptable, just, just, just accept other people being around like I did, you're like, you're right, mate, do you want to change music? Do you want to put some music on? Like, just, you know, if you're in there on your own, you put your own fucking music on, and get on with what you're doing. If someone else comes in, if I've got fucking metal on, I don't expect them to, to do their workout listening to Slipknot. So it was cool, but then sometimes you've got these weird people that would come in and you're like, Hi! And they just ignore you flat and you're like, Oh, you're an axe murderer. I'm currently in quite a large building and it was part of like an industrial complex. And like, it looked like a fucking zombie film because when you walked into the, the, sort of walked in the gym, you had to go through this underground bound of these buildings. Yeah, you went in the, oh, crawl above. Yeah. Actually, you must have walked past these buildings, uh, buildings, rooms that were like full of industrial sort of air conditioning stuff and it was just pipes and darkness and grills and stuff and you just expected there to be zombies creeping in around amongst all this shit. But there never was unfortunately. So trying to sketch me out a little bit, ignores me when he first comes in and then he uh, goes and turns the fucking aircon off and you're like, ah son of a bitch! It's a fucking gym, what are you doing turning the aircon off? So you go and turn it back on again, and then it's about five minutes later, he turns it off again. And, and then you beat him to death with a barbell and hide his body in one of those rooms. No, I'm joking, I didn't do that. It was a shake weight, I just smacked him in the fucking head with it. <laughs> Woohoo! So, yeah, anyway, so you got these you individual freaky people, and it was all cool and fine, and you know. But, on the few occasions that I went in there, and it was about nine o'clock, and there was about a group of people in there, holy shit! I did not know what to expect. It was one of the most entertaining things I think I've ever done. Hello. Thank you. Um, because I'm just there, I'm on this fucking cross trainer thing for about half an hour. It's always to do the warm up. Um, and I'm just watching these guys doing weights. And most of the guys that came in were literally just coming in and doing weights. And as Jake and Marenko pointed out, a lot of them were just doing fucking upper body shit. Literally just like, I'm so fucking massive, I can't even wipe my own ass. Mm, anyway, but then you notice this little game that happens between people. There's normally one big guy who's huge, and everyone's, all the other guys are like, oh my god, he's huge, I feel so intimidated, my, my manliness is, is not as good as his, he's not gonna size of his arms, oh my god, how am I ever gonna get a woman? Because that's what most of them are thinking, I'm sure, it's not the fitness thing. Um, and there's that one guy who's lifting like 40, 50 kilos more than the other guys, and they're all trying to uh, keep up with him and, and show off, and, and then you see them go and go, yeah, I'll do, I'll do 100 keys, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've done one. One does fuck all for you. It's all about reps, not fucking, I'm lifting this once. Now I will poop out of my ear. What's down there, I wonder? It's a river. It's a, oh, that was a really fucking stupid idea. What are we doing that for? Oh, yeah. 
Well done, Jesse. Thankfully, you can make up for my idiocies. And you're watching this sort of group mentality of them. They're all trying to really big up each other. And I of the fucking water on the road. Oh, okay, so I'll go on the wrong side of the road and get fucking hit by a cyclist again. No, I'll just, I'll just ride through this. Mmm. This is lovely. So, fucking... Ah, shit! My boot got wet, and the hole in my boot... You can see there's a hole in my boot. No, you can't. There's a hole in my boot! There's a hole in my boot from the shifter, and there's water in it, and now I have a wet foot. But it's okay. I'll deal with it. What the fuck was I talking about? Gyms. Was it gyms? Probably was. Nah, squirrels. Sat. And it was great because we'd like watch as the blackbird flies across so majestically. Uh, as it's like some of these guys would leave, and especially as that one big guy would leave, everyone would just go to the machine they were working on and go vroom and put less weight in it. Uh, but my Jesus fuck, what is. This is not a fucking road! This is a piece of shite! My old branch, great. Where's my fucking tax money going? God sake. Oh. Are you thirsty? Beer. You hungry? Hammer. No, um, maybe not, but you know what I mean. Woohoo, woo, it's all puppet. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, Jesse! There we go. Guy, why is that guy so close behind that fucking lorry? He can't see shit! No, because I'm on the L plate. I'm the stupid one who doesn't know what he's doing. Jesse, pull out from the side. You didn't see what was going on. Come on, buddy. Mm, it's clear. My toe's getting really cold now because of that wet, soggy shoe. Definitely soggy. I've been rambledled. I have rambledled like fuck in this. Um, possibly because I was having to concentrate on the road. Possibly because I'm a fucktard. Either way, I'll catch you next time. No! 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 Okay, yes, I know I was going, but... Ah! Plastic! Um, I know I was going to go. But what is this guy doing? He is literally feet, feet off their back bumper. Every car. You guy are crazy. So I'm putting it in the comments. Say yes, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at coming. And when I say that, I don't mean like a mm, yeah. I should be able to go for that 50% chance. I mean like a yes. I am going to come. Like 90% sure I will be there on the 18th of May. 